Thank you guys for watching. My name is Hans and this is my channel. Today we're gonna be going over how to install a gear shifter. We're going super old school with this. The gear shifter used to be up here and it would twist right here. We had to get rid of that so that we could put a throttle right here, which is way better anyways. But if I get stuck someplace and I don't have enough power to get back on my batteries, I wanna be able to ride the thing back. So today we're gonna install one of these. Let's go! So I went online and I was looking for like the old school 10 speed shifters. And that's exactly what this is. It's called a Sun Race. And the name and everything speaks to the uh, 70s when they were, these were really popular. But what it is, it's just an old school gear shifter. This is how all the 10 speeds used to be. So you got two little shifters that slide back and forth. There's no notching, there's no nothing. So you really just have to kind of feel it when you're, when you're riding your bike and you put it in the spot where you want it so that the derailers aren't clanking or doing anything weird and then you're in your gear. So very old school, but like I said, if I get stuck someplace and I don't have enough power to get back, I don't want to have to come back in the gear that I'm in now. It'd probably be really hard to even climb a hill the way it is now. So what we're going to do is install this so I can get through my seven gears I think I have on that. I have a seven speed cassette on the back of this, so that gives me a big granny gear if I want it. These are really, really simple. If they just open up, so you unscrew this little screw, you bend this open so it kind of spreads out, and then you just slide it on, and you wanna make sure that your cables are coming off the front, and they give you these, which are short because you don't have to come all the way out to the end of the handlebar here. You come from right here and you go down to the bracket right there. And these actually fit perfect on this bike. I don't know how they're gonna do on my other one, but we're gonna put one on this one, which is already installed. And then we're gonna put another one on that one. Now I know that I only need one of these to be working. So I wanted to use this one on this side just because I don't know why actually. There's absolutely no reason why I did that. You could use this side if you wanted to, doesn't matter. So just so you can see here, it's a really fancy long screw comes out of here. And then we just take this and we spread it out like that and it'll slide right over that. And then you pinch it back close and put the screw back on. And then you have this part that will go over the cable and we're gonna grease that up before we do that. It goes over the cable and into here. And then it goes down as you can see on this bike, it starts here and it comes down and goes into the bracket that's sitting right there. This one, I still need to grease up. I just kind of was test fitting that to make sure it was gonna work, but we'll take that out, grease it up, and uh, we'll run it the rest of the way. So this cable's running through here. It's already a little bent up. I think that's from shipping. That's gonna run through here. It's gonna go into this. We're gonna pull this out and we're gonna grease this part up right here. And then this will come and go in the little holder there. And then it comes down and it goes right underneath there. And there's plenty of room. It's still not gonna bind up or do anything weird when we're turning the wheel. And we're gonna run that the rest of the way down. So I've got this tube of grease that I've had forever and ever since before time started. Ever. Not for me, for everybody. Not that long. Maybe it's only been like 10 years, but I've had it for a really long time. Still halfway full. I don't use very much, and that's kind of why I'm telling you this, is you don't need to have a bunch of grease on these cables. You need to get grease on the part of the cable that is inside of the sheathing, and you don't want to get a whole bunch of it out here because that's sitting out in the elements and it's just going to collect dirt and dust and everything else. So kind of just get an idea of where that is, pull that out, and we're just going to grease this section right here. And again, we're not gonna use a lot. You just kind of dab a little bit on the cable, like so. In a few little spots there. And then we're just gonna push it on with our fingers, just like this. Move it around a little bit and go like that. You can see there's a little bit on the end that just kind of gets bunched up, that's fine. Put that there, slide that thing in, and you can, sit, you can tell right away it's moving so much smoother inside of that. 
and then we'll put this part here. You can see there's not a whole bunch of grease on this part that's gonna be exposed. On the bottom part here, right underneath the crank, so it's, so there's a little plastic piece with these two channels and that slides into the channels and there's a little piece right here you have to push it through so that it won't just pop out of that little guide that's in here. So you wanna make sure you slide that right through there and then that's gonna get you back to the back barrel. So make sure that you're on the outside one because we're gonna to go to this derailleur. Okay, so we got it through there. So we've got this thing all lubed up here. Put that in there. This piece comes up and around here. That goes into this little bracket right back here that this holds into, and it goes just like that. Now, when we attach this to this little derailleur holder down here, now you can see that thing's moving back and forth the way it should. And again, there's, no indicators on this as far as where it is, but you just kind of feel it out. I think there's gonna be plenty of travel to get me through all these gears. So I'm gonna give this one final twist here. Whoops. One final twist. Really get it tightened up. All right. Okay, we can take some cutters. We don't need very much of that at all because it's already all the way out. As you can see, these things are gonna work great for what I'm trying to get them to do. Uh, I, there's not gonna be a lot of shifting on this bike because I have a throttle. And if I do run out of power, I have that ability so I can climb hills if I have to and I can get my bike back home. I don't think I'm ever gonna have to use it. So I didn't wanna spend a bunch of money on a gear shifter that was gonna you know, have like a super fast trigger. I don't need any of that. This is a cruiser bike. This is gonna work perfect. I hope this was helpful. If you guys like this video at all, please hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button if you feel like it, and you'll see me in the next video. <laughs>